Disney films draw on a wide variety of sources, from traditional fairy tales to historic personalities. But what about those imposing castles? As it turns out, the world is dotted with the actual castles that served as models for Disney's creation. Join Viewcation as we explore real-life castles that inspired Disney castles and films. Alcazar of Segovia The Alcazar of Segovia, a medieval fortress located in Segovia, Spain, served as the model for the castle that was the home of the queen in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. If you ask Meredith Cohen, a medieval architecture historian, there's a nice balance between reality and Disney fantasy in the cartoon. She cites the cartoon's small windows and stone facade as examples of realistic details, adding that such features were common in historic castles and used to deter intruders. The real castle, however, has a lot fewer turrets. Cohen said that Disney inflated the number of towers and turrets in its castle to make it seem more fantastical and mystical. Even though the evil queen and Snow White lived in an Alcazar in the 1937 film, the Alcazar has been utilized for a variety of functions since its inception in the 12th century. It was originally built as a stronghold, but over the years it has served as a royal palace, a state jail, the Royal College of Artillery, and the Military Historical Archive. Chillon Castle in Switzerland this castle, also known by its French name, Chateau de Chillon, was built around 1150. Located on the eastern edge of the lake between Montreux and Villeneuve, the Rhone Valley in the Alps is easily accessible from this location. From the 12th century through the late 18th, the island castle served as a stronghold, an arsenal, a prison, and a summer retreat. Today, it's open to the public as one of the most well-known castles in Switzerland. Due to its composition as a collection of 25 separate structures, the castle was obviously not constructed all at once. Do you remember the magnificent home that Prince Eric had in the 1989 version of The Little Mermaid? According to Condé Nast Traveler, it was designed to evoke the equally stunning Chillon Castle. However, in contrast to the castle that Prince Eric occupies, this one is located on a lake rather than by the ocean. Mont Saint-Michel those familiar with the Disney film Tangled may see some parallels between the real-life French island of Mont Saint-Michel and the fictitious kingdom of Corona. In an interview with AnimatedViews.com, visual development designer Laurent Bonmimon explained that an island with a Renaissance castle resembling Mont Saint-Michel was the idea for the film. But the final output was put together from several sources, and the animation's use of the Corona Castle as a setting is a great example of how to incorporate a real building into a fictional plot. Mont Saint-Michel is a French island off the coast of Normandy that was once home to a Benedictine abbey. After a while, the church was converted into a jail, and in reality, you can only visit it twice a day during times of low tide. These two points are symbolic representations of two crucial events in the princess's tale. The jail represents Rapunzel's early years spent imprisoned in a tower, while the rising and falling tides represent her hair, also representing the limited methods she had to communicate with the outside world. Craig Ivar Castle It's widely believed that the famous Nunschwanstein Castle in Bavaria, Germany, was Disney's primary inspiration for the famous edifice in his 1950 masterpiece Cinderella. However, the National Trust for Scotland considers Craig Ivor Castle to be the landmark holding that title. The official NTS website touts the gorgeous setting in Aberdeenshire, roughly 2.5 hours north of Edinburgh, with the first bullet point being, Discover the stunning pink castle thought to be the inspiration for Walt Disney's Cinderella Castle. The Craig Ivor Castle is more like a millennial pink fantasy that only could have sprung from a fairy tale but it's actually the inspiration behind the setting of one of the most beloved fairy tales. Among the most recognized and beloved structures in all of Scotland, this tower house was first constructed in the Scottish baronial style in 1576 and has remained mostly untouched since William Forbes' completion of it around 1626. It was inhabited by a single family until the 1960s, during which time it was transformed into a unique medley of homey furnishings and priceless artifacts. Neuschwanstein Castle Neuschwanstein, built in Bavaria at King Ludwig II's behest, served as the model for King Stefan's castle in the Disney classic Sleeping Beauty. However, Disney included some extra magical touches, much like the Queen's castle in Snow White. Various elements of King Stefan's palace hint at several time periods. In addition to the pointed arches typical of the Gothic style, there are also turrets in the Renaissance and Gothic styles, as well as the Scandinavian tradition. 
When compared to Ludwig II's other castles, Neuschwanstein most clearly represents the king's aspirations and ambitions. The castle wasn't built to display the monarchy so much as to provide a refuge. It was a technological marvel even for its time. It simply wore a medieval facade. Even though the castle looked like it was straight out of the Middle Ages, state-of-the-art technology was running the show. Every room of the palace, the monarch's official dwelling, has a central heating system that blows hot air. Hot and cold running water was accessible in the kitchen, and running water was available on all floors. Taj Mahal One of the most distinctive castles in any Disney feature animation is the Sultan's Palace from Aladdin. According to production designer Gemma Jackson's interview with Entertainment Weekly, the castle of the Sultan in the made-up country of Agrabah in the 2019 live-action adaptation was a, quote, real jumble of influences from throughout the world. The stately mansion is crowned by a massive onion dome atop a central tower, a design element repeated everywhere in the house, and it has a processional stairway that leads to an arched door. One of India's most recognizable structures served as the basis for the Sultan's Palace, which is today recognized around the world. The Taj Mahal, a white marble mausoleum with a domed roof, is the centerpiece of a larger complex of buildings that together make up one of UNESCO's World Heritage Sites. Beginning in about 1631 AD, the construction of the Taj complex took thousands of skilled artists and craftspeople 22 years to complete. The main tomb was finished in 1648 AD, while the surrounding buildings and gardens were completed in 1653. The Taj Mahal is the most famous building of Mughal architecture, which combines Persian, Indian, and Islamic traditions. Hotel de Glace While not technically a castle, this structure served as the model for one of Disney's most recent and recognizable castle, the one Elsa built out of ice in the film Frozen. The Hotel de Glace in Quebec served as inspiration for Frozen director Chris Buck. The name of the hotel translates to Ice Hotel, and it's exactly what it sounds like. During an interview with Screen Slam in 2014, months after the film's theatrical debut, Buck revealed that he had visited the hotel roughly five years earlier to scout it out and get a feel for what a building made entirely of ice and snow would look like. The hotel apparently couldn't let the idea die, since the Frozen Suite was available for booking during most of March 2014. It resembled Elsa and Anna's bedroom from the animated film and was carved entirely out of ice and snow. Eileen Donan and Dunatar Castle The fictional Donbrook from the movie Brave was modeled after two real-life castles, Eileen Donan Castle and Donatar Castle, both of which are in Scotland. Even while the animation is a near-perfect representation of the real buildings, especially the stone exterior and horizontal profile, there are a few discrepancies. Firstly, stone castles didn't appear until the 11th century, while the story takes place in the 10th. Also, the palace looks quite broken down for one where people are supposed to be living. This could be symbolic of the rivalry between the many clans in the film. Visit Scotland, the official tourism organization of Scotland, reports that the Pixar animators who worked on the film Brave were proudly moved by the country's natural beauty and rich tradition during their two trips to Scotland in the summer of 2006 and 2007. Chateau de Chambord It's feasible to stay at the same hotel that served as the basis for Disney's Beauty and the Beast. According to Sarah Greenwood, who worked as a production designer for the 2017 live-action adaptation, the Chateau de Chambord served as the inspiration for the 1991 animation and the film. Even if you can't see yourself spending the night nearby, a day trip to the Chateau is a must, and the French gardens are magnificent. Despite Chambord's great fame and the interest it's generated among historians over the years, the building's designer remains a mystery. Despite this, it can't be denied that Leonardo da Vinci's influence can be seen throughout the chateau. For an authentic Beauty and the Beast experience, travelers should take the six-hour trip across the country to the Alsace area of France, which was said to be the inspiration for Belle's small town. In 2018, Adventures by Disney expanded one of its European river cruises to include Riquier, a town in Alsace, that serves as a stand-in for Belle's hometown in the film. Now it's time to hear from you. Which of these real-life castles would you love to visit? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.